Hey, what's going on, Obscure Mic people? It's Bark. I'm coming at you yet again with another microphone test review ridiculous video. Another ridiculous video from me. So to those of you who watched the last video on the uh, Studio Projects LSM, thanks to the folks in my Discord server who actually give me a lot of good information, recommend some great microphones, join the Discord server. It's a great place. Podcastages, uh, his podcastages. So like, is that like cabbages? Ca cabbage, pod cabbage. His Discord server is fantastic. Tons of folks in there, good advice. But of course, you know, my Discord server, I see exactly what they want to tell me about my stuff, which is very helpful. So feel free to join and help me in this journey. But uh, Con, my dude Con, pointed out that he looked up some Amazon reviews. These guys are great, man. They, they do research for me, and it's so much appreciated. But he found that a lot of folks on the LSM from Studio Projects had that hum in USB mode. So apparently it is a an issue with that microphone. I don't know if there's something you can do to take the hum out, whether you need a really high-quality USB cord or what. I've still got the mic. Granted, it is for sale. I loved it, but you can't hum at me. You know, it just doesn't work that way. So hopefully I can figure out if there is any kind of workaround or fix because I thought that microphone sounded pretty good. And today we're going to talk about a microphone that I believe will not sound pretty good. I am very skeptic. It's the Philibi, Philibi, Philibi. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's F-E-L-Y-B-Y, -Y, the, the flow B. I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember that. The Floby, the flyby. Let's take a look at this microphone real quick and some pictures I took. It's uh, it's actually pretty cool looking. It's all metal and it does have a couple little glass windows in it to show you the internals of the microphone. Of course, lit up by a green LED light because that's what sells microphones is the LED lights. Aston, I'm looking at you, Aston Stealth. That's what sells a microphone. Doesn't matter what it sounds like. Doesn't matter. If it's a, a strange looking cat, if it has an LED light, hotcakes selling all over the planet. But it's a really cool microphone. has a yoke mount on it. It is a metal yoke mount. Uh, the metal mesh grill has some give to it. I, I'm getting ahead of myself, but it does have a metal mesh grill in the old school style of RCA microphones, sort of. Though you can tell this is not an RCA microphone. So for the, for the sake of showing it to you in front of my face with these beautiful green lights on, here's the microphone. Uh, here's here's why I bought this microphone. A few reasons. One, $15. This thing was 15 bucks on Amazon. It didn't say flyby on it, which I've been eyeballing this mic for a while. And the models I have been eyeballing all said flyby for the most part. Except be careful. There's a guy out there selling microphones under the tag of Broadcast Barn, the Broadcast Barn on eBay, and he's selling these stupid ass things. Sorry, I haven't even talked into it. I should calm down. But he's selling them for way too much. This is a $15 mic. Beware of the Broadcast Barn. I don't like when people buy off-brand Chinese mics and, and rebrand them and sell them as something that's, I mean, we're talking like 70 to 100 bucks is what I've seen those things for. $15. Sorry to call someone out. Just don't want folks to get ripped off. That's all. So anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to this weird $15 microphone. And I will tell you the second reason I bought it, the yoke mount for a project that's upcoming. That'll be pretty cool. Pretty cool project. My discord server folks know about it. Do you No, Cause you're not in there. I'd love to talk to you for real. SM seven B. We're going to switch over to the fly B. The f f f the Philip. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we are on the Philib BM1000 is the name of this microphone, the Philib BM1000. And initially, I am not ultra offended at this fifteen dollar mic sound. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That being said, I don't think it's great. Um, but man, it's a uh, it's boxy for sure. It's definitely boxy. There's definitely a lot of room. You you can feel the room in this microphone. 
You can feel the room and the sounds all around you. Maybe, maybe it's a good ASM or whatever the fuck that's called microphone. Let me rub some shit on this microphone right now. Uh, let me, let me just get it, get some arm hairs on there. Yeah. Arm hair ASM. I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm sorry for going off the rail. Stress, baby. I'm not that stressed, but I am a little stressed. Um, Shower me with love. Actually, I'm not an attention hungry person, but there's just a lot of stuff going on. I'm getting ready to embark on a new adventure. Embark, you like that? Embark. Yeah. So outside of this world, outside of the audio world, getting ready to embark on a new adventure. So stress is, is, is high. Things are crazy. But anyways, this $15 mic, you know what? I've definitely heard worse, but this, this is not good. Do not take me as, as saying that this thing is good because, because I'm not so far, but let's go ahead and throw some plosives into it. My faith in the plosives is, is minimal. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. One more thing before I get up close. So, so another dude, Red Scott over in discord, appreciate you dude, uh, pointed out and I'll show you the picture that uh the internals of this lit up green looks like two darth vaders making out oh oh right there right there yeah so yeah two darth vaders making out and uh it does kind of look like that good good eye red scott so anyways i digress uh, when you get right on top of the flyby bm1000 this is what it sounds like the flyby bm1000 this is what it sounds like now w when i really get to the meat and potatoes of what i think about this microphone take me lightly i have been doing headphone reviews and i've been recording some headphone stuff and let me tell you switching headphones all the time really does a number on your ears and i don't mean in a painful way i mean as far as what you actually hear and what you perceive as something man he too much time in other cans. <laughs> That's what she said. It is. Um, so anyways, just be gentle with me and what I think about these microphones. I'm trying to go with what is the most uh, reliable for me right now. I won't tell you exactly what these are yet, um, but they're surprising. It's surprising that I'm liking these headphones a lot. So anyways, let's go ahead and do some off-axis rejection and this is the front of the microphone 90 degrees on the microphone 180 degrees on the microphone and back around to 90 degrees and then we're going to spin it back the other way to the front of the microphone listen um i i'm going to throw this out there i don't think this sounds that good but i also don't think it sounds that bad i think this is very typical this is very typical this is what i'd expect out of a 30 or 40 dollar mic that's like an off-brand no-name kind of thing but i'd much rather spend 15 dollars on this than buy a yeti just saying i mean you know condenser in an untreated room was just as treated but i'd much rather just roll with this it's really not that bad so anyways it did come with a metal tripod stand and it came with an xlr to uh aux cable I'm not going to use that. I'm sorry. I, I refuse. I refuse. I, I'm not doing it. So anyways, let's talk about this some more. I really think the looks of this thing are killer. I think the fact that it comes with a yoke mount, which if you're like me and you want to create some things, there's not that many mics with yoke mounts that you're just going to be willing to rip off. I'm not taking one off my SM7B. I'm not doing that. Uh, there's some USB microphones out there. Oh, I still need a keyboard. I'm really sorry that I don't have a keyboard yet. The struggle's real. But anyways, it's hard to find a yoke mount. And this is metal, and I think it'll fit the bill for the project I'm working on. And honestly, I, I could uh, do a lot with the body of this microphone. I, I could try to make it a higher-end condenser, which I think I might do. I think I just might do that. But anyways, for 15 bucks, man, I'm sorry. You get this tripod. You get a yoke mount. You get an LED light. Fucking streaming, bro. Fucking streaming. It's hard to say this sucks for 15 bucks. It doesn't sound great. It doesn't, you know. But I have dealt with worse setups for beginners than this. I have. So 15 bucks, like, you're going to need some more 
to get going unless you use the uh, quarter inch jack or the aux jack. But man, this is a pretty decent start to get recording something. Again, it doesn't sound great. I'll give it the yellow light though. Like it doesn't sound very good, but it's 15 bucks. And there's a lot of shit I can get done with this. I'm going to use this body for something. That's what she said. And I'm going to use this yoke mount, 100%. Tripod stand, I'll package it with one of my podcast packages I sell on eBay. Off they go. I mean, that's going to help me make a tiny bit of return on this. So, hell, I could probably sell the mic alone without the yoke mount and a little shock mount for 15 bucks. Get a free yoke mount, free tripod stand, whatever. Anyways, I, you know, I don't think it's that bad. I've heard worse. 15 bucks. Uh, just don't buy the other versions of this thing. They all look the same. Like They all look the same. If it's more than 15 bucks, just go ahead and pass. I'll put the link to the $15 one I bought in the description below. It's Amazon, so it'll probably change all the time. And it is an affiliate link that does help me out, which I appreciate because right now I'm down and out with all the money I've sank into this channel. I am hurting. Donate in the link below. Love of God. Could, could Jeff Bezos just check out a video of mine and just send me a donation to help keep going? Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Even though you sold a bunch of your shares, just still help me. Jeff Bezos. Come on, bro. Usually I'm, I'm above begging. Not right now. Not right now. Anyways, the Flyby BM1000, you know, it's been fun. It's been fun. Coming up on the uh, next Obscure Mics, probably a headphone review. Probably a headphone battle. Let's see what we can do with this in the future. Keep your eyes peeled for, for what I do with all the parts from this. Obscure Mics. Parts out. Peace out. <laughs>